Hey everyone, today I have a quick Windows 11 tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install and activate a second solid state drive or hard drive in your Windows 11 PC. It's really quite simple to do. We'll show you how to install this in the computer physically, and then I'll show you how to set it up and activate it in Windows 11. Now, if you are new here, my name is Ken, and this is Northern Viking Everyday. We bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into installing and activating a second drive in Windows 11. So the drive that we're gonna be installing today is the Crucial BX500 one terabyte, two and a half inch solid state drive. I will put a link below in the description. If you do wanna pick one up for yourself or find more information, as well as for the accessories we're gonna be using today. Now, if you are interested in the speed on this drive, my next video coming up, I will be doing a speed test for you so you can watch for that video coming up and I will link it below in the description as well when it is complete. Now, some of the accessories we're gonna need, we are gonna need one SATA cable. I do have a couple of them here. This one has a 90 degree bend on the end. Sometimes these are nice for cleaning up your wires. The other one is the same thing, but it doesn't have the 90 degree bend on the end. And you can pick one of those as needed. And we'll also need to look at our power supply. We are gonna need a SATA power cable. So you're looking for the end that kind of has a straight line with a little end on it. Have a look at your power supply to make sure you have one. I have a modular power supply, so I can just add cables as needed. Um, so have a look for the SATA power supply. So first off, we'll show you how to install the drive in your PC, then we'll move on to activating it in Windows 11. Make sure your power supply is turned off and you can go ahead and unplug all the cables from your computer and also remove the side panels from both sides so you have easy access to the front and the back of your computer. There should be some screws you just loosen off and the panel should come right off. So let's locate where we can put our drive in our PC. I've got a few spots, one right here, another one right here, or I can put them in the drive bays down below here. Now, if your drive bays don't hold a two and a half inch drive, they do sell adapters that convert three and a half inches down to two inches. I'll put a link to these below in the description. So let's go ahead and locate our SATA power cable. I happen to have this one here that's connected to my RGB hub, and it actually has a couple other connectors attached to it that are daisy chained together. I'm gonna to use this one for the power for my solid state drive. Now we also need to find the SATA ports on our motherboard. They're commonly located in the bottom right hand corner of our motherboard. I happen to have six of them here. Now double check with your motherboard manufacturer if there's a specific port you should be using. I'm gonna use that 90 degree cable I showed you earlier. I'll slip it through the back and plug that into the SATA port there. And now we can go ahead and make our connections to the solid state drive. Now this is the location I chose to mount my solid state drive. There's a bracket here that gets released with one screw. Each PC case is gonna be slightly different in how this portion works, but this bracket gets screwed to the back of my solid state drive. Grab your solid state drive, make sure the connectors are facing down and line up the holes on the bracket with the screw holes on the back of your solid state drive. And the screws I used did come with my PC case. If you don't have any, you might need to jump over to Amazon or your local PC store to grab some. Go ahead and plug in your SATA power connector as well as your SATA cable into the solid state drive. Make sure you are putting them in in the correct direction. You don't wanna damage the connectors when you're doing that. Once that's all assembled, we can go ahead and mount our solid state drive and put the screw in that holds the bracket in place. From there, you can put your side panels on and fire up your computer. All right, so once you've got your PC all put back together, the side panels on, the cables all plugged in, go ahead and load up Windows 11. And the next thing we need to do is load up disk management so we can activate or initialize our second drive here in Windows 11. So disk management can be found if you go down to the start menu here at the bottom, the little Windows icon. And we wanna right click with our mouse, not left click, but right click. And when you do that, a little menu is gonna pop up and you should see disk management right here around the middle of this menu. You can go ahead and left click on disk management and that's gonna load right up. Now you can see right away it popped up here. There's two windows, the disk management one and the initialized disk one. And it recognizes right away that we've put a brand new solid state drive or hard drive in our computer. And it wants us to initialize the disk. So I recommend selecting this GPT option. It's the newer or more modern option. Make sure that's selected and just go ahead and hit okay here 
and it's going to start initializing that disk. Now, from there, you can see I have two drives in my computer. Disk zero, it says unallocated. This is the solid state drive we just installed. Disk one, this is the NVMe M.2 drive I already have in my computer that has Windows on it. Now these numbers, disk zero and disk one, could be in different orders, and you might have disk two or disk three if you have more drives in there as well. So we wanna find the one that's unallocated, and we're gonna go ahead and right click on it, and you'll see it says new simple volume. We can go ahead and left click on new simple volume, and it's gonna load up the new simple volume wizard, and from there we can just go ahead and hit next and go right into the wizard. It's gonna show us the space that's on that drive. We can go ahead and hit next here. And it's gonna allow us to assign a letter to this drive as well. So assign a letter, it's already set to D for myself. I'm gonna switch this one to G. Maybe I want it for gaming, so I'm gonna switch it to G. You can switch it to whatever you like there. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit next as well. We're gonna just leave the other things alone there. From here, it says format partition. I'm gonna select NTFS here. Allocation unit size, I'm gonna leave on default. And then volume label, we can actually name our drive here. So maybe I'll name this Crucial One Terabyte Gaming or something like that. You can name it whatever you like. And I'm gonna leave it on Perform a Quick Format. We're gonna go ahead and click on Next. It's gonna give us all the information here. And what we set up, we're just gonna go ahead and hit Finish. And it's formatting. You can see it says formatting right there, my little circle spinning. You can see it finished up here. It says healthy basic data partition, and it gives me my total space. And let me go ahead and I'll just shut this down here. We're all done there. But let me go ahead and bring this up here. You can see my new drive showed up here in Windows 11. And if I click on it, go to properties, you can see that I've got my basically one terabyte of free space. And it's really that simple to activate and set up a second drive here in Windows 11. So I hope this video was able to help you activate a second drive here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.